What is a transaction? Strictly speaking, a transaction is an instance of buying or selling something, a business deal. However, it can also apply to the action of conducting business, or stretch even further to apply to an exchange or interaction between people. The word transaction is extremely versatile and useful, despite the fact that it sounds like it will only apply to business enterprises. Examples of transactions can be found everywhere in our lives, whether we realize it or not. I'd like to purchase some lemonade, but I don't have 50 doubloons. All I have is this crumpled piece of paper. No, I do not accept your offer. Hello, Lemon Man. I do not have 50 doubloons, but I have a calculus early transdental function with CalChat and CalCubu by Ron Larson and Bruce Edwards. No, that is not enough. I decline your offer. Transactions come in different shapes and forms, and it does not necessarily mean an exchange of money for a product. Each of these people are offering an item in exchange for the Lemon Man's product. In this instance, they are offering the opportunity for different variations of transactions for a single item. Hello, Lemon Man. I do not have 50 doubloons, but I do have this cheese stick. No, that is not enough. I decline your offer. Hello, my man. I do not have 50 of them, but I have the UFC 4 for the PlayStation. I'm sorry. Well, it's an objectively good game. I cannot accept your offer. Hello, good sir. I do not have 50 doubloons, but I do have this PS5 and Lenovo 75 Hertz G68525 <laughs> monitor. I'm sorry, well, that is a very valuable offer. My product is too exquisite. Why, well, hello, my fellow comrade. May I interest you in the Holy Grail for one cup of lemonade? lugubrious offer. Let's trade cups. Here is an example of a successful transaction rather than a hypothetical one. There's a physical chains of items in a manner of business. <laughs> the lemonade stand, of course, was a licensed business and reported earnings to the IRS to be taxed. Those are official transactions that strictly follow the textbook definition. However, the word transaction is much more versatile than to just describe strictly business transactions. Transactions may even occur under the eye of governing bodies. I am here to purchase some of your candy. Can I see it? Yes. Here it is. Yum. I have invested all of my money into Facebook. Let's see how it's doing. Transactions do not have to be for the exchange of money for definite physical products. It can be in exchange for non-physical conceptual products such as online tokens or items. Furthermore, these items do not have to be of definite value. Here, the man has traded physical currency for non-physical company shares that vary in value. This is also an example of a transaction. Oh no, I have lost all of my money. Now I must turn to a life of crime. I must go rob somebody. Here, we see a blatant, obvious crime, theft. However, even this can be referred to as a transaction. 
As long as there is an exchange of goods, the very versatile word of transactions is still able to apply. Oh yes, I have made back all of my money. Don Lemon Man, you have called. I wish to take revenge on the man who has put me in this bed and has robbed me. I will pay you to get rid of him. But you're broke. You're right. But I will give you half of the money you can get from him after you subdue him. As you wish, Lemon Man. Here, we can see an example of a completely non-physical transaction undergoing. The Lemon Man promises a conceptual item, the promise of money, for subduing for the subduing of the dealer man, another conceptual item that has no physical form. Still a transaction going on here? Well, yes, still. A transaction of blows to be precise. There are no goods or products being exchanged, but there is an exchange of an action. <laughs> As you can see, the word transactions is extremely versatile, from applying to business and tax transactions to transactions that happen under the eye of the law, to transactions in exchange for non-physical items, and to even transactions that don't yet exist. The word is perfect for any circumstance. So remember, use the word transaction next time and sound smart while doing it.